SQL joins. SQL joins. Sometimes we have to select data from two or more tables to make a result complete. Then we have to perform what we call a join. Tables in a database can be related to each other with keys. A primary key is a column with a unique value for each row. The purpose is to bind data together across tables without repeating all of the data in every table. So usually if we join, we match the primary key of one table to the foreign key of another table. So let's try to examine the syntax of an SQL join. So we have here select, then we have fields, field one, field two, field three, and so on and so forth. So we can have several fields or we can have also expressions. Then from the first table, you can join the second table. Then on, we have the first table key field is equal to second table, maybe foreign key field or vice versa. Let's say for example, the first table contains the foreign key field and the second table will have the primary key so what if uh, we're going to get data from more than two tables so let's say if you have three tables it will be from first table inner join second table then on first table key field is equal to second table foreign key field then after that we have again another inner join then the third table then on then how are you going to relate the third table with the first two tables and so on and so forth after the on statement so after this we can have of course the normal closest that we use for where uh, select statement like the where close the order by close so let's try to demonstrate this here we have a demo to display the names department salary and commission of all employees with salary not lower than 10,000 so in an hour analysis so I'll be showing you this later the name of the employee will be coming from the amp table and the department or the name of the department will be from the depth table the salary is from the amp table and commission is again from the amp table so the qu query that we're going to create needs two tables and the two tables could be related using the foreign cube amp table which is the depth id and the primary key of the depth table which is id so here i'm going to show you the structure of the amp table so in the amp table we have the following fields we have id e name depth id mgr salary and commission so take note of this because we'll be using this table again on our next demo, on our next example. So again, it has uh, the following fields, ID, a name, DEP ID, MGR, salary, and con. So DEP ID is actually our an example of a foreign key because we'll be relating this key to the primary key of the other table. So let's take a look at the other table. So we have here the DEP table, wherein we have two columns or two fields or two columns we have id which is a primary key and the name the name of the department so again uh, id will be related to the depth id of the m table so let's try to look at the contents of the m table so this is an example of the m table if we issue select asterisk from m then it will display to us the records of the m table so Let's take a look at the columns. We have here the columns, column numbers. So one, two, three. So with these values. And then select asterisk from depth table. So we have here three rows or three records. We have one for the admin, two for the production, and three for sales. So if we want to display the name, the department name, salary, and commission, so this will be our query select m dot e name so m is our qualifier so you have to specify the name of the table or the alias of the table so why are we doing this so that for example in these two tables there are uh, fields with the same name then it will be 
it will address the ambiguity of the column names. So we have m.ename, dep.dname, m.salary. So salary will be coming from the m table. And then m.com. So from m, inner join dep. So we're now joining the two tables. So how are we going to join them? By relating the department ID of the m table with the primary key of the dep table with this ID. Then we also have here, so since we're going to display only those with salary higher than or not lower than 10,000, so where M salary is greater than or equal to 10,000. So this will be our result set. So we have now joined the two tables. So instead of just displaying the department number, what we have here is the name of the department. Now let's take a look at another example. Displayed employee name department name manager name of all employees so analysis employee name is again coming from the amp table the department name is coming from the depth table but we have another name the manager name is also coming from the employee so it's also the employee name and it is also from the amp table so this means that there will be two instances of the amp table and it will be mandatory for us to use table alias so this will now be our query select amp that e name then i place also a column alias as employee name so the employee name will be coming from the amp table or with the t amp table with the alias m then depth that d name so as department name then m dot e name so you notice we have here two e names but the qualifier for this is m and the other one is m so from m table in join depth table on m dot depth id is equal to depth dot id now how are, how are we going to determine the name of the manager so the mgr field of the m table should be matched to the ID or the employee ID of the M table. That's why left join MM. So that's the M table on. So how are we going to relate them again? The MGR of the M table should be related to the employee ID of the M table, but this time of the uh, that with the alias of M. So why did I use left join? So left join will be necessary so that uh, the all records from the M table will be displayed whether we have or we don't have a match with the M table. That's why if you're going to look at this, uh, the first employee by the name Daisy, admin has a null manager name. If we use inner join, this record will not actually will not be displayed okay so that's why we make use of the left join so that's all that's a that's a simple demo of uh, joins in sql